What's going on? It's GD Marble, and welcome back to another All the Circles video. Today, we're doing number 42 out of now 80 rated demon circles, as FNAF Bass recently got rated. It's about a hard demon, I'd say. Nothing more than that. Sweet Dreams is the level we're playing today. Let's get into it. Everybody, it's a hard demon circles by Zeus9. Um, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. This level is not one of my favorite circles, but I don't think it's a bad circles. I just think it's not like my favorite. So let's jump into it. Let's practice it. There's some confusing aspects to it, but it's overall relatively easy. So we jump in. You can already see there's uh, there's a little bit of trick gameplay. You gotta jump up there, hit these orbs, and then you gotta hit that yellow orb late. So you can go out there, and then you're gonna miss that orb, hit that one. Um, and see there's some tricks here. You're actually gonna hit that right there, but not hit it. Ha, trick. It has an X on it. You're not supposed to hit it, but you do hit it right now. It's a trick, is what I'm trying to say. And then you're gonna hit that. You're gonna hit this other X orb, but miss the third X orb, so that you go, that you don't die. Because if you hit that X orb, you kill yourself, and that's not fun. And then you miss that, uh, and you go through this portal and down, and then it's gonna bump you up into the ship. So see, and you don't hit anything there, and you go down, and you go in the ship. And the ship's a little tight, actually, but it's not too bad. Uh, you go up a little bit, go down with the slope. I recommend hitting the slope and just letting it go down and then clicking out of it. And then here, you hold the button. You know, when you get over there, you just hold the button, and you can get yourself out of it um, uh, a little bit. Uh, you know, hold for a little bit and then go up. Not too hard, just simple gamma play, but it can be a little confusing at first. Um, hit this orb here. Uh, but you don't really have to, you can do that, like if you time it, but there's no point to, just hit the orb. Um, because it's just easier. And then you hit this orb right here, and then that spike is invisible, it's like fake spike, so you can go right through it. You hit the yellow orb, and then you get to wave. So then the wave, in my opinion, starts out a little hard, but then kind of gets easy and weird towards the end. Like you have this weird kind of spammy part, so... Just be ready, and it also has like a non-wave break in the middle, so let's just start. So, you know, you start as a normal wave, you go up and down here, and then you hit this anti-gravity, and that anti-gravity part's a little hard, you just have to get used to to um, doing a small click, small click to get out of that. So, you're going to be doing small click, small click, and then you have to do a couple there. So, small click, one, two, to get yourself out of that. You're going to have to practice that. It's really three clicks though. Small click to get into the portal, then equal size clicks to go one, two, and get yourself over to uh, to right here. So you go down to get out of it here, and then you actually, you can click up a little bit there if you want to go like that, but you don't have to. You can just go down and up like that, which is much easier. Either way works though. Uh, and then you, you know, the mini wave is very straightforward at first, up over the hump. And then you're gonna to wanna to go up here and become a normal wave and just hold the button because that's an invisible diamond. Uh, and then there's this saw blade right in the middle that you're gonna to wanna to avoid it. And there's kind of free wave there. And then here's like a little spam part. I recommend for this part just going up big one click and then spam a little bit down. You know, try to reduce the amount of time you're just doing a crazy spam, as I always say. Um, and you make it through that part. And then it's kind of straightforward. You go up and down through the saws. You're gonna to have to go up here and when you go up here into these other portals, you're gonna go up, one, two. That's all you wanna do. You don't wanna just get here and go up and then crazily spam immediately and just spam all over, see I'm dying, and then just spam. No, you go up, one, two. Up, one, two. Because that's the most consistent way to do it. So do that, uh, and then you'll head into this next section, just nice and easy mini wave so far, and you do a jitter right there because there's some fake saws. And then you're gonna hold up immediately, and then you don't have to do another one more click. Ready? It's hold up, one click. Boom, you're out of that part right there. Um, you do a little jitter right here, as you can see. Uh, you go down, jitter, and then another little jitter. You're gonna go one, one, two, three. You don't even have to do three, you can go one, two, actually. Uh, and you're gonna head into this mini wave. And this mini wave is a little bit annoying right here, in my opinion, because you have to kind of go up and then spam and then up again. So I recommend just kind of making it another click timing. One, two, uh, just nice and easy. High two there, so you can go up, uh, you can go up and then up high, and then you get down through there. And then it's pretty simple from here. You just weave your way through here. You get to a slow speeds part, which is a nice little break, which is very straightforward what to do. Um, and you can hold through here. You can hold the button through here. 
um, to get into the three times part. Down one click and then hold the button again. And then you can you can skip a whole little part here by just holding the button into this portal, going above and then down. Um, it's very simple, but you just have to know where to go there. And then you spam a little bit through the slow part, into the speed part, back into the slow part. Then you're a mini wave. It's really simple. You go up, you miss the regular saws, and it's just nice and easy strokes here. One, two, three. Boom. Nothing new. Nothing Nothing more than that. And then you're going to weave your way through the slow part here. Nothing hard. And then you're back into a cube. So cube, pretty simple, but you want to hold, you want to get jumping early. But if you don't get jumping early there, watch. If I get, if I just, if I get onto this and I just jump, boom, I die. You want to get jumping early, probably right when you're on the middle of the first block there. Boom. Then you can jump over both really easily. You jump here, hits those for you. You have a ship part that is a lot easier than the beginning ship part. So it's not too worried. Just holding buttons. And then you're going to see, as, as you can see, all I do is hit this orb right here, and then uh, you're going to come out of this up and up. You might want to do a jitter out of this uh, or something, or just wait a little bit. Um, but see how, see how the two times speed is nice and easy. And then for here, um, if you don't want to spam through this part, the best way to do it is just to go nice sweeping strokes. You can go sweeping strokes on this. Um, I think spam, spam just worked for me like that. But if you don't want to spam, if you're having trouble with that, use nice sweeping strokes, and then you can spam a little at the end, and then there you go, you beat the level. It's a weird level, it's not necessarily hard where I have to give you a ton of weird tips, but just a little bit of tips on like where you can you can spam and where you shouldn't spam, and you know how many clicks to do maybe is what you can learn from this, but there's nothing too special. It's overall a relatively easy level, probably about a medium hard demon in my opinion, nothing more than that. So we'll give it a quick level rating. For me, this level is, it's just, it, it's, a, it's five out of nine. It, it's nothing more than that, nothing less though. It's not a bad level. I like the song, the portion of the song used. I think some of the gameplay is pretty interesting and unique, but it just doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't flow perfectly like another circles. It has like some transitions that you have to really focus on hitting and are very hard to hit, um, even though the level's supposed to be um, easier than that. And it has a lot of size change portals that really affect your way of practicing where you have to like kind of do big clicks and then get through the portals, um, which I don't super like. And then some of the beginning parts are a little hard and, and annoying to, to, to play. So I would say for a hard demon circles, it's nothing more than a five out of nine. So that's what we're gonna stay with it on. And that will wrap off that tutorial. I highly recommend playing these kind of unknown circles levels though, because it's good to kind of play levels that you maybe would never have normally played or even heard of. So I would check them out. But with that being said, let's head to that completion video and I'll see you in the next All the Circles video. The people just like play it and just say good level or they don't say anything at all, but you actually just, like gave good feedback. Other like, and then other people like, kill all this level sucks, bye. Oh, so I didn't, I didn't just say bad or good, but I actually gave my thoughts on it. Yeah. And you, and your content is actually kind of fun to watch. Other like, then other people like no mics, just like playing a level. What's so interesting? No mic and face cam that. content is bad. Yeah. The I used to not show my face inside of my streams, but whenever I'm doing like extreme demon, and I don't show my face, I only show hand cam in the bottom right. Oh no no no! You know people are still saying that Dolphy hack Carter is. It's really obvious that he didn't. Cause he did it live. I just beat it! I just beat Sweet Dreams! How about that, guys?